Welcome to this video which covers week 3 of the lecture notes and also chapter 9 in the set book. Here are the objectives. You may have enrolled in engineering because you like finding solutions, but is your solution good? For example, you've been asked to design a mine shaft for brown coal. But this may cause upset, as you can see. The locals may not be too pleased. How would you react? If you register with Engineers Australia, you must agree to abide by their Code of Ethics. Here is an extract from the Code of Ethics. There is a copy for you on Views. For those in New Zealand, a similar code is adopted. This lecture and the notes will explain some of these obligations. Notice the words honest, conflicts of interest and realistic. Most of us apply our own code of ethics. You will usually know when you have a problem. You will have been told of the dangers of plagiarism and copying, one example of intellectual property. This includes keeping good records and not falsifying documents or data. Duty of care. Only act when competent or when you are trained. But innovation is a useful way forward. Here is a list of some common ethical issues that you may come across. Now, no one likes to own up, but no one is perfect, so always admit if you are unsure or put people at risk. Morals are personal rules, whereas ethics are how people apply their morals. Ethical egoism is one simple example of being selfish. Another ism concerned with happiness and suffering. Do what is right and treat people with respect. Try to see all sides of a situation, even though you may favour one. You'll notice courage and compassion are the key words. Owing, owning up to a mistake, which may put your job at risk, is one dilemma you could get yourself into. Treat others well and be ethical in your actions. Conflicts of interest have been mentioned several times. Loyalty can create a tension but also can cause you a conflict of interests. Whistleblowing often happens and some people with high moral standards whistleblow but suffer bad consequences like losing their job. Only use this as a last resort. Budget constraints versus safety. Another dilemma. Different cultures have different ways of behaving which can test your ethical thinking. Just remember that corruption is illegal. The world is full of corruption, the yellow areas having far less than the remainder. We all have moral and legal responsibilities. Here is a summary of what we have discussed.
Thank you for listening.